Very good morning children. In this video we are going to discuss is about carbon dioxide transport. Before that we discussed a question what happens when a person in higher altitude will the dissociation curve shift towards right side or left side. Many of you have answered yes it is right side. Very correct answer children. Keep more answering like this to motivate me even. Okay. Uh, now we will discuss carbon dioxide transport. The carbon dioxide transport, if you see plasma, it transport some around 7 percentile in the dissolved form. RBC <coughs> transfer 20 to 25 percentile. And in the form of bicarbonates only, it will be transported to the maximum and most common question is also this one. Most of the carbon dioxide is transported in the form of dasher, bicarbonates. Okay, uh, this is what? And you know very well, carbon dioxide is having 20 to 25 times more diffusion than oxygen. Okay, children. Let us see how this bicarbonates are forming. That is called Hamburger effect because he only studied. So it is called after him Hamburger effect. So let us see. This is RBC. When carbon dioxide enters into RBC, combines with water. Okay. And it forms carbonic acid H2CO3 in the presence of carbonic anhydrase. And then this bicarbonate is carbonic acid is converted into bicarbonate. Again with the help of same enzyme carbonic anhydrase. This bicarbonate in RBC can be transported by combining with potassium to form potassium bicarbonate. To balance this potassium ion exchange, some chlorine ions are getting inside. So it is even called chloride shifter. The same thing happens even in plasma. So if you see plasma, the carbon dioxide combines with water and form carbonic acid with the help of carbonic anhydrase. And then it will be converted into bicarbonate and H plus ions. Okay, here it will combine with sodium to form sodium bicarbonate. So in plasma it is sodium bicarbonate. And in RBC it is potassium bicarbonate. Question they may ask you what is the other name of Hamburger effect. It is called chloride shifter. Okay. So this is relevant to the uh, bicarbonate formation and how 70% is forming. Then we should know what is Bohr's effect. When acidity increase. The association between hemoglobin and oxygen will be reduced. Okay. So they dissociate into hemoglobin and oxygen. Dissociation of oxygen happens from hemoglobin. That is what Bohr's effect children. Then there is one more effect called Aldane effect. In aldane effect, the dissociated hemoglobin has more attraction towards CO2. So it will bind with CO2 children. I hope you all understood how and all carbon dioxide is getting transported. Now we will see a question. Can you answer me in 100 ml of blood how much carbon dioxide is transported and how much oxygen is getting transported? Can you all post your answers in the comment box children? 
Thank you all for watching this video. Subscribe and share with your friends.